Hi, I'm Andrew Berry and welcome to At The Bench and welcome to another product review. Well, it's not tools this time, it's like a substance really and it's thermogel. It's a thermal barrier, so it's a heat barrier. You may have seen me use this blue gel stuff um, on several films on At The Bench, especially when um, in the repairs when I've been resizing or soldering back the backs of ring shanks and they've got stones in them. Now it is important that whenever you are working on any piece of jewellery that has heat sensitive stones. Now in theory all stones are going to be heat sensitive depending on what they are. Even diamonds are heat sensitive. If a diamond has been fracture filled, laser filled, whatever, heat treated or anything like that, any heat can actually affect the properties of that stone, especially with the filling and the lasered um, filling and the removal of the inclusions, the dark inclusions. Any heating will bring those back to light and damage the diamond. So in theory, if you cannot guarantee you're going to keep those stones, stones, those stones nice and cool, your best bet is to stop the heat from actually reaching those stones in the first place. And this is when a product like Thermogel really does come handy. It's blue. Um, it's very much like, um, like a gel. And it is really, really good at doing what it says on the on the container. It's the ultimate thermal barrier. Now I've got an amethyst here. If an amethyst is heated up and heat gets to it, and when I say heat I don't mean water or warm water, hot water, I mean heat from a torch. If the heat, whether it be from the flame or from the transfer of the heat from the flame through the metal to the stone, there is a chance that this quartz with the amethyst will actually turn clear. And if that happens, you've ruined the stone, you cannot get that colour back. And the same applies to stones like opals, because opals are uh, porous and there's water within the opal. And that's what gives it its lovely fire and iridescent quality. Now, if that water is dried out, the stone is going to be dead. There's going to be no life in it whatsoever. And the same applies to stones like, like turquoise, for instance. So if you're working on any piece of jewellery that has any type of stone that is heat sensitive, you have to take precautions. And thermogel is a fantastic way of making sure that your stone will be the same as it was after the repair, as it was before. Now what I would intend to do is get a nice big dollop on my block, like that, pop the stone into it, the ring into it I should say, and really put a nice coat in. Now, you have to remember that silver will conduct heat far quicker than gold. So you'd have to put on a thicker layer and perhaps build the protection up higher up the ring shank. Because, as I said, <coughs> me, the silver will conduct the heat. So I would put on a nice coating like that, and normally about a centimetre thick all around the stone in question would be ideal. Then we can work on the ring shank. Obviously I'd, this was a ring pat I was resizing, I'd resize it first, I'd take the piece out, put it back together and before I solder it I would put it within this thermogel and then I would solder it. Um, I'm purely doing this just to demonstrate how you would pack up a ring so you can solder it and work on it safely. Now Jason and I um, have just finished filming an experiment using thermogel. Now, it is the ultimate thermal barrier. And what we wanted to do was be able to melt gold on the palm of my hand with purely the thermogel in between. Now, this is a very dangerous um, product review. This is a very dangerous experiment that we, that we did. Um, we had, the, we had buckets of water handy, we had, well, we took all basically the safety precautions, but I wanted to show you how good the thermogel is at stopping the heat getting through. And within the palm of my hand, we actually melted gold, and there was molten gold on the palm of my hand. And if you don't believe me, we're going to show you the film now. Thank you. 
Right, so we've got a nice thick coating. Well, not really thick, it's about a centimetre thick. Up onto my hand. We've got a, an oxygen and propane torch that we're just going to use to melt the gold. We've got a piece of gold. Where's the gold, Jace? I put the gold in the palm of my hand there. And the idea is now the, the thermogel is going to do its job and stop any of the heat getting through to the palm of my hand. That's the theory of it. And as long as he's very steady with the torch, what you'll see is molten metal on the palm of my hand. The flame's got to be hot, obviously. And he really needs to get it hotter than this, I think. Hey, hotter. That's it. And remember, there's nothing between my hand and the thermogel. It's just completely nothing. So there's no barrier, there's no bit of steel or asbestos either. See, the idea is, the thermogel is such a, a fantastic thermal barrier that literally will allow you to melt gold on the palm of your hand and there literally there, there is no heat coming through to my hand yet and if Jason wants to hurry up I'm getting a bit closer with it You can actually see it's actually balled up on the palm of my hand. But there is no heat coming through to my hand at all. Don't try this at home. Thank you, Jason. Take it off for me. So, there you go. And if I do that, there you are. Nothing at all. Completely and utterly cool. There we go. Thermogel is that good. I'd thoroughly recommend it. So, it just goes to show you how good the gel is at stopping the heat transfer from one side of it to the other. The thickness of that particular um, amount on my palm was, I would have thought, about 12, 15 millimeters thick, and there literally was no heat transfer the palm of my hand whatsoever. It was perfectly cool. There was no heat being transferred at all. Um, I've always used thermogel. I think it is an absolute fantastic substance. What I would do in this instance that we got scenario here, once I've worked upon the ring, you'll find that the heat will turn the, the thermogel black like it did in the film we just showed you. Um, you can reuse that or you can throw that little bit of burnt thermogel away. But what we would do in this instance, I would simply then scrape off what we've got there, back into the pot, lift up the ring, take it out, and then scoop it all up and put it back in the jar. And we can reuse it. And the only thing that you're going to lose is the little bit that is left on your block and the little bit that is left upon your ring. We can reuse the lot of it. And a tub like this, this is a... I was hoping it would tell me what size tub this is. It's a big tub. You can get small little um, handy sized tubs as well. They're great if you don't use it every day, but we use this every day. And a tub like this will last us many, many years. So I hope this short film goes some way to showing you how good thermogel is. And I would thoroughly recommend it if you do want to keep your stones nice and safe, or in fact, any piece of jewellery that you want to keep cool, perhaps you were doing some soldering, some complicated soldering joints, and you had one joint right next to the other, well put this on the one joint you don't want the heat to get to or the solder joint to come undone, and you can work right next door to it on the same piece. So that's Thermogel, I'm Andrew Berry for The Bench, thanks for watching, see you on the next one, bye bye. <laughs>